<clears throat> uh, right, this this um faction always has a lot of like random just point of fence stations out in the middle of nowhere that don't do much besides um well that. <laughs> Oh good, I can move even if I lose my arms. That's always nice to know. And back at full. I'm just gonna bomb you from afar. Because I can. Ah, but it's laser based. Which means it's actually hard to deal with. Damn it. Normally, normally with those turrets I can just charge them and succeed, win at life, but apparently this is not the case now. Okay, I see how it is. I'd like to get all these resources, but uh, I'm too busy locked on other things and my goodness, I'm sp spiraling out of control. Please stop that. Oh my gosh. That's shielded and this is shielded. Great. Great. Shielded everything. Can you, okay, look. I understand that half of you is missing. That is the one thing that has always annoyed me about game, like this game, is that um, when you lose some of your thrusters, your ship just doesn't know how to compensate anymore. Like it does things like it will run itself into a rock and because you can't um, rebuild parts when in combat or when being damaged, you just basically you know, push yourself into the rock until you crush yourself. And it's, it can be annoying. Especially when ships are built out of the um, factory, like AI. Like are spawned. And then they, you know, decide, you know what, I want to actually move. And they start moving, they activate their thrusters, and they literally run themselves into a rock and kill themselves. And it's, it's yeah, it's fun. It's like, okay, look, if you didn't want to be in my fleet, you could have just said so, instead of, like, literally committing suicide the moment you were born. Like, damn. It's pretty harsh. There we go. Does he even have shields? No, I don't think so. Got him. Got him. Alright, good. See, that's usually why you don't want to engage shielded threats, because non-shielded threats are so good for resources, at first. What else? I suppose farming is also good for resources at first, but, uh, yeah. Not oh, mine. No, damn it. Usually, the AI really takes to your ships as opposed to theirs, so now they'll probably, be, yeah, build nothing but scarabs, of course. How much were the shields again? I don't, don't really remember. 720. We're so close. I just want shields, and then my life will be complete. Not really, because I need to get the actual tier 2 stuff to actually make a tier 2 ship. Oh, jeez. Can't fire for squat. When damaged. No, stop that. Haha. <laughs> Fell into my trap. Okay. I almost pressed that. I would have been so mad. Alright, uh, shields. Let's go. There we go. We, did, we just need a lot more power to support that. The beginning is always like a rough start, but as you gain momentum, you just start accelerating through these, these upgrades and all that pretty quickly. The hard part is really the beginning. Trying to find easy pickings. Usually, this faction right here is the easiest pickings. The red faction. Their ships are like... <laughs> I suppose they're like butter. They melt. Especially against missile barrage. Because miss missiles? Missiles! Missiles have splash damage. <laughs> so... So they do a lot of damage to them. As you can see, a lot of their ships are built out of, um, like the weird, like, orangey kind of blocks interlaced in them. Aren't engines? Well, they might be the engines. They're, they're like building out of explosives, almost. Good for ramming, I suppose, and good for stopping, you know, 
some missiles and stuff, because they absorb the damage, obviously, and I'm about to die. Damn it, those two capital ships. They got me. That's alright. Dying is no real big deal. I mean, you lose some credits sometimes, but, you know, no issue. You can usually get them back pretty easily. I can't kill that thing. Well, I could if I tried, but... Can't kill that. Ah, yeah, look, resource nodes. They actually be pretty good at grabbing up, but they take a while to destroy, especially with a weak, piddly weapons like mine. Missiles out. Alright, there we go. Let's get these guys. Hey! That hurt. <laughs> Ah, uh, great. The spiral of death. Yes, when it comes to um, damage, it's not the best ship I've built. <laughs> that's okay, though. I'll show you the other one I built, actually. This is one that's pretty common. Uh, I need to remember how I do it. I think it's like this. Like this. Kind of reminds me of a, I suppose, a simple version of Vulture Droids from good old Star Wars clone era. Uh, I know that's, I think that's way too long. No. I think it cuts off at the back and then comes in. I'm not too sure actually. I know I have a picture. Somewhere. Let me actually check. I might have it on my phone. Because I used to exchange pictures a lot. And just take pictures of the creations. Uh, let's see. Where is my good old Vulture Droid thingy? I mean, it's a simple design, but I just... I can't for the life of me remember how I actually built it. Damn, it's far back. And my pictures. Oh yeah, it was ages ago they built. There it is. It's not even built like that, mate. Good lord. Completely got it wrong. Whew. Though I did build one with these parts, but the way you're supposed to build it is like this. Okay. Um. Plasma projectors, and then shields, but I don't have shields, so... Like, I have... It uses portable shields, but I don't have them, so... One, two, then two... Four that way. Um, then, of course, back design. Whoopsie. Mirror that. And the front design. There we go, and and uh, good old missile pod bay thingies. I said the advantage of not um, actually having to worry about like you know things being in the way of of shots and stuff. Because I suppose realistically. Because it's top down, I mean, everything looks like it's on the same layer, but realistically, they might not be on the same layer. I don't know. <laughs> it's weird saying I don't know for my own ship design, but uh, you know, you get you get the idea. Uh, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Yeah, and like. Something like that. Right. Usually costs about 600. But considering the fact that I don't have the portable shields, uh, it costs less. This is a good ship, though. Usually. I don't know how well it will actually do again in combat like this. Without, um, 
It shields. You can see how it melts things. So actually, I'll probably use that. I mean, I have the resources for it. I used to never test my designs, but now I just do for the sake of, like, seeing how well it could, like, you know, because when the AI takes control of it and fights other AI like this in a 1v1 situation, it just shows you, like, it's, um, it's maximum capabilities, I suppose, because most of the time I would not be pulling off these maneuvers, but it shows you it's possible. Most of my maneuvers, I'll literally run into them and fire all the guns, <laughs> kill them. Alright, so. Now, no, this isn't really in. Considering that the other one was a Corvette. And this is more. Yeah, it just makes sense, I suppose. This is a Leica. Yeah, let's, let's fix that, shall we? A light Corvette. There we go. And this is a fighter. Well, even. Especially when it has its shields. Whoopsie! That was a heavy fighter. Okay, we'll use the heavy fighter. Just because it's a better, you know, design. Overall. Oh, except for when it does that. Stab. Okay, now we're gonna bind. Uh, you guys are on point defense, as well as you guys. Auto cannon should always be on point defense, like what the hell? I think I have another design that actually implements trans rotators. Because they're effective. I'm like, I could put trans rotators in. I mean, they don't cost anything, do they? Nope. And they're pretty good for helping the ship just turn overall. Let's do that. There we go. Wing is off, build them, and give me all my parts. <laughs> there we go. See, turning is a bit better. Just a bit. It's a lot more noticeable if you use it in capital ships, in, um, in bulk. But anyway. Now, we might have enough missiles to even break through these shields. Let's see. Well, we definitely have the range of weapons, so, heh, <laughs> wreck. Stupid defense platforms. Put them out in the middle of nowhere. Like, usually, defense platforms defend something. I mean, I get it. Defending a territory, but come on. When your territory is literally... You know, devoid of anything. And is literally a void. <laughs> I'd, uh, place some near stations. You're like a perimeter. Instead of what, whatever the hell you're doing. Oops! Dodge the shots! Ow, they hurt. Oh my gosh, they hurt. Oh no, I'm spiraling. Not good. Out of, out of, out of harm's way, out of harm's way. Oh, no you don't. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh no, you're spiraling. How do you like that? See, auto cannons. see what I mean by, like, it's basically a hailstorm. Which is pretty effective against shielded targets. Flak is more effective against um, non-shielded and obviously point defense in general. Let's just upgrade this. What the hell is that? That's a cool design. I'm taking that. I steal a lot of designs when, I, when they look good. Just because like I've never seen it before. <laughs> just pop out of nowhere. The AI decides, hey, let's build this unit that he's never seen. In all of his time playing this game. <laughs> I mean, even though it feels like I've played this game so much, surprisingly, I haven't actually. Like, most of my time has been spent building ships as opposed to actually using them. <laughs> Which is always funny. Let's see if we can find another station probably soon. Not yet, though. I don't think these are even... No, that's a lot of ships in one area. I don't want to mess with that. Nope. I wouldn't mind destroying and taking the resources of the ones that aren't shielded, though. 
which there were a few, those ones in particular. Come here, resources. Dynamite missiles. Okay, fine, dynamite hailstorm, I don't care. Either option works, and or. Oh yeah yay. Ow, that hurts. Oh drones, don't don't be the end of me. Return the race no, they're this way. This way. Thank you. Good lord. Uh oh. All of our thrusters are back. <laughs> Ow. Okay. <laughs> Dead. Let's gather that up. Okay. The trail's always nice too. I don't know what it is with space games and trails. I mean, both Homeworld and this, and they just look nice. Let's go this way a bit. Actually, I should probably advance into those guys. Just because I know that they're an easy pick when it comes to resources. They hardly have shields. The mod included shields, but um, it's not like they use them much. See what they got over here. They got that big ship. I wonder if it can take my barrage now. Oh yeah, they can. Oh wow, okay. I just killed that guy by ramming him. Don't mind me. <laughs> See if we can get this guy. There, the flary. Nah, we're not gonna be able to. Oh, mm, okay. I kind of got it. Trying to catch some units sometimes can be annoying, especially when they're always running. You just can't catch them. Especially a missile build like this. If I had faster, like, firing weaponry or something, probably could get them. Oh, that's a lot of bad. No! Please no. Just go to the outside and come back around. Hello. Oh. I think that's got a shield. I can't tell. Oh, mortars. Ah, he's got a teleporter. That's what it is. Okay, that guy, I think, just had some overcharged weaponry or something. Ah, the storms. Classic unit. Classic dead unit now. Alright. We only have 301 resources with this though, that's the one problem. <clears throat> Significantly less compared to um, my Scarab. Oh, ow, I wasn't looking. <sighs> Okie dokie, let's grab, uh, I don't really know what to grab. I need a weapon, uh, tier 2. Or should I upgrade? Well, I definitely should upgrade. We want to get into the thousands, maybe 2000? 2, 2000 should do it. This just isn't a very good station location. Usually I have ones that are surrounded by, um, you know, resources, and they're pretty good for a starting point. We need to find another one. So that is our plan right now. We're gonna go out, venture out, and see if we can find another one. Oh, hun. No, we... Unless we die. <laughs> That's always a possibility. There we go. There's one up here. What territory is this? Is this fly territory? Fly's always a nuisance because uh, there are units that can, like, Replicate like every single one has a factory pretty much and their um Replication abilities of annoying. Yep, yeah, just fly <laughs> Great They get a single ounce of resources and yeah They can build like another annoying armada. They don't do much damage though They're easily manageable usually They can be annoying though As long as you have um Missiles are pretty good against them. It's just all the units can teleport. It's the main problem. I'd 
rather you didn't. Thank you. And goodbye. Ay ay ay, they're everywhere. Get out of here. I think they can only teleport once before on a cooldown though, so... If they teleport somewhere, it's bad, then you can usually get them. We got Scarab, okay. Oh, come on. Just, no. They're not on a cooldown. There we go. You just gotta catch them in that period. Alright, upgrade. To 777 power. <sighs> Sorry, I was yawning. <clears throat> Alright. When you find a better station, that is not a very good place, for one. I'm not gonna get many resources from these... things. Um... Yay, yay, ow. Look how many there are. Go away. What the hell hit me? Oh, hello. I'll take that. Thank you. Uh. Oh, yep, yeah, there's one right up ahead. I have no idea what faction this is. Symbiosis. Oh, okay, they're, they're relatively easy to face against. I'm not sure if this is the... Yeah, it's these guys, okay. I think this is the modded variant. They're like the farmers, basically. Which means they don't. they usually don't have much weaponry. Some of those ships don't even have weapons at all. Come on, kill him. Oh, come on. There were two of them. I didn't see the second. Damn it. <sighs> they don't have much in the way of weaponry, but some of their weapons, especially those platforms, are pretty lethal against um, non-shielded opponents, such as myself. Okay, we're going to get back there and actually take it. Maybe not actually start a fight with them. That'd be great. We're just gonna avoid conflict. Hey look, there's where I crashed. <laughs> oh boy. That's awkward. <laughs> Ow. Uh, let's wait for this component to catch up. Come on. There you go. You can salvage components from the environment, but you can also build them from scratch. It usually takes less time, obviously, to just salvage a bunch of components, but damn. Ah, oh, why'd you shoot? Why did you do that? Ow. So much pain. Ow. No. Screw you. I'm gonna run myself into the wall and kill- yep, there we go. Here's an example of what I was talking about before. About your engines just deciding, you know what, I'm gonna fire. And almost kill me. Surprised I didn't die. Go away. Give me engines. Okay, there we go. Uh, yep, the defense platforms are still there. Yeah, oh, good. Got one. Okay. Yeah, this station variant usually doesn't have any weapons. Oh no! Oh no, it stole... Oh, it stole a tier 2... Double barrel... Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Double barrel plasma cannon. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> How dare you. As property of my faction. I don't actually have a name for this faction besides, well, my name. Oh, yes, it's one of these nodes. Okay, this is going to be a good spot. Plants usually die and they give you resources, which you've probably noticed by now. I don't think I mentioned. I probably mentioned it 
vaguely, but not really in detail. So you'll see these things uh, right here, these seeds right here, you'll see them, this one right here, fading. And then when it dies, it drops a resource. Same with these, these whole plants can just deteriorate and die. That is once they've launched seeds, of course, and the seeds can attach to walls and grow. So really, the longer you stay in a sector, because obviously um, only certain sectors around you will actually um, be doing things, because if the whole galaxy was trying to do things at once, oh yeah, okay, the lag would be absolutely intense. So it's you and like, I think the neighboring sectors and all. But um, the longer you stay, obviously, then the more foliage grows and the more your army grows, basically. You can see I'm already back up to 800. Means I can pretty easily build without having to actually try and struggle by fighting and dying and repeating. Methods, what methods I have done for farming is I've built um, actual like farming ships, which are nothing but containers. I'm pretty effective every now and then. I might do one here actually. It would be good to actually just get myself jump started into building a massive fleet because I don't want to spend too much time in the early game because I have an entire galaxy to conquer in a playthrough so <laughs> I've tried to actually do it because there is a, um, an achievement which is called completionist and it's basically conquer the entire galaxy and I've never done it because I've always been using this mod that expands the size for as long as I'm, I've um, played the game really so <laughs> Well, for as long as the mod has been out. Not really for as long as I played the game, because I played the game in when it was in Alpha. <clears throat> okay, let us build a quick cargo ship. I don't want to keep it built forever, because otherwise my allies will use it. And I don't want them to. A little massive ship. Yeah, we can store 7,000. Don't even really need much armor or anything. Got its shields right there. Harvester there. Harvester there. Mm. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's annoying. This really doesn't fit at all. Damn. <laughs> That's alright, we'll just do it on the outskirts here. Right, so what I'm planning is just making a simple harvesting ship that I can use for harvesting operations. So I don't really need much in the way of um, defense or anything because I'm only really going to stay in this zone. But for the sake of defense and not dying and losing a crap ton of resources, I will put a shield down. There we go. Or two. We'll put two shields. There we go. Um, and it's not really going to be aesthetically pleasing either. And I'm hoping my allies don't build one of these. I don't want them to. Have to be too fast too. Um. Okay. Hmm. That is a legitimate name for some transports and stuff. Starlifter, because yeah, it could. <laughs> Not really though. Ten thousand though. Okay. I uh, don't. Will we have the room? Of course we'll have the room. Things always appear to be massive, but then it's not really. I mean, it's not really that big. This ship. Well, 
Which is always throwing me for a ball. You always build something and you're like, oh, this is gonna take up so much room, but it doesn't look like it. It does, theoretically, compared to what I had, because um, it's just that the zoom changes. So you go, oh yeah, but you know, it still looks this big when I zoom and all, but it's not the case. So I'm just gonna sit here and gather resources and ask how your days have been, because uh, I can't really do much else while doing this.